What's up everyone, my name is Joe, I'm from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm going to be talking about the Bloom Hybrid Mattress from Brooklyn Bedding. I'll be letting you know everything you need to know about this mattress, the pros and cons, the construction, who it's a good fit for, who it's not a good fit for. Basically by the end of the video you're going to have a pretty good idea if you're going to want to get it, so stay tuned. If you want to see a list of our favorite latex mattresses, simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Latex Mattress. If you have any questions about today's review or you want a personal recommendation, I'm happy to do so and I will respond to your comment. Just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So we have the Bloom Hybrid Mattress. It comes from Brooklyn Bedding. It's an all-natural latex mattress plus pocketed coils. Hybrid construction there. Brooklyn Bedding is a company I really like. They represent very well-constructed mattresses. Definitely a great value overall. So I'm excited to see how this mattress kind of stacked up. Let's talk about the construction of the Bloom Hybrid Mattress. We have 13, a little bit over 13 inches in total. We have an inch of base foam, eight inches of pocketed coils. Um, it's be very breathable material, good for kind of motion transfer, uh, very supportive and durable material as well. Then we have three inches of all natural latex. Then we have a quilted cover. It's got some wool quilted in here and organic cotton on top. So with the quilted cover, it's gonna be nice and soft, add some nice pressure relief to the mattress. Then three inches of towel latex. It's an all natural material. So if you're worried about kind of chemicals in your mattress, sleeping on top of chemicals, this could be a good option for you. Uh, so really great match of comfort and support. You've got the latex, which is gonna be very durable material, and then just the highly supportive pocketed coils underneath. Um, so add that to the pressure relief from the latex plus the kind of quilted top here. It's gonna be a very good match of both being pressure relieving and uh, supportive at the same time. I stick around later, I'm gonna show you exactly how well this mattress relieves pressure with a pressure map test. Stick around for that. So it's gonna be very breathable, very durable, it's going to be very supportive overall and a great match of comfort and support. All right, now let's talk about firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I put this mattress about a six and a half out of 10, 10 being firmest. I think it would be firmer, but the nice soft quilted top makes it a little bit softer. Kind of that medium firmness of the mattress that I've reviewed. As far as feel is concerned, number one thing to note is it's going to be pretty bouncy. You can see that it kind of immediately responds. So if I drop this lacrosse ball, it'll bounce kind of right up there. You're gonna sleep more on top of the mattress, but know that it's a very good match of comfort and support, but it's gonna be very bouncy, so that's more of a personal preference thing and definitely something you notice on the feel of this mattress. Now I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions on this mattress. This is the medium firmness selection, so starting on my back. First thing I notice is that kind of cool to top allows my hips to sink in. Very, very good match for me on my back, very supportive feel overall. Switching on to my side, I feel pretty good pressure relief, um, surprisingly good pressure relief on this mattress, so I feel like such a pretty good match for me on the side as well. Switching onto my stomach now, I do feel that it's a little bit too soft here, so if you just sleep on your stomach, I would probably go for the firm version, uh, but definitely a good match for me on my back and side on this medium version. Over at Mattress Clarity, you're gonna see some of our subjective opinions on things like firmness and feel. We also give you some objective tests. One test we really like is a pressure map test, which shows you exactly how well each mattress leaves pressure. So I'm gonna get down on this pressure map here, lie down on my back, side, and stomach. You're gonna see anywhere from blue to no pressure, all the way up to red to high pressure. The only thing to note is that if you have a different body type than I do, you may see different results, but let's get started. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160, I'm 6'7", 230. I'm a larger person Want to give my experience of the Bloom Hybrid. So in terms of firmness, I said the Bloom Hybrid was a seven out of 10. So for me, it felt just a little bit firmer than average there. In terms of sleeping positions, on my back, I feel absolutely fantastic. My hips sink in this top layer, not too far. I feel very well supported. Moving to my side, I feel a little bit more pressure than Joe than my shoulders and my hips. However, still a decent choice on my side. Moving to my stomach, it's a little bit too soft for me. My hips bowing just a little bit, so I can use a little bit more firmness overall. So what does that mean? I think if you're a larger person like myself and you sleep on your back, great choice. If you sleep on your side, you might want something a little bit softer. If you want something a little bit firmer though, if you sleep on your stomach. If you sleep with a partner, you're gonna to wanna to consider something called motion transfer. And basically, if your partner is moving around that side of the bed, is that motion gonna be isolated or transfer over to you and possibly wake you up at night? Test that, I've got a glass here. I'm create a little disturbance around the glass. 
Got all natural latex here, so it's pretty bouncy. Um, you can't see that there is some motion transfer here. Also had Martin jump in and out of bed while I was on the bed, and I kind of felt that motion transfer over to me. So there is some motion transfer here. Something to note if you sleep with a partner. If you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the bed, you're going to want to consider edge sport. Basically, can you sit or sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like you're going to fall off? I'm on the edge here. You can see that the foam is collapsing. I'm not necessarily going to be falling off the bed if I'm tying my shoes or something like that. I'm going to lie down on my back towards the edge of the bed. I'm getting a little bit of that rolling off the bed feeling, so I would say the edge board is just okay on this mattress. Let's talk about the pros of this mattress, who I think this mattress may be a good fit for. Number one, very breathable mattress, so if you're worried about sleeping hot, definitely could be a good choice for you. Also, way more durable than a lot of other mattresses, so if you view this as a long-term investment, this could be a very good match for you as well. Very good match of comfort and support, so because of this kind of quilted top, it has very good pressure relief, and yet because of the other materials, it's very supportive as well. It's a great match of comfort and support. I think because of the firmness options as well, you're going to find a good fit no matter what with this mattress. If you sleep just on your stomach, you can go for the firm version. Back and side sleepers will find that the medium version will work quite well for them as well. All right, now let's talk about some of the cons of this mattress or who I think this mattress may not be the best fit for. Number one, it may just be out of your price range. It definitely is a very expensive mattress. Number two, there just might be certain types of feels that this mattress doesn't provide. So if you want to sink into the mattress, that's not really what happens here. You sleep more on top of the mattress rather than in the mattress. Also, it's very bouncy. So it's kind of a personal preference thing. If you don't want to have a bouncy, really responsive sleeping surface, I would probably look elsewhere. All right, that's basically it. Hopefully I've given you a good overview of this mattress and the pros and cons. I think a lot of people are gonna like this mattress and I personally like it quite a bit. It's a great match of comfort and support. You've got all natural materials on the top of the mattress. Very breathable mattress, and very durable mattress as well. I think a lot of people are gonna like. If you have any questions whatsoever, definitely leave a comment below. If you wanna see a full list of our top picks, simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Mattress. Once again, let me know if you have any questions.